Right, this is a guide to laser mining, mainly for painite today, but it also applies to low temperature diamonds. This will be the planet and the ring you'll be visiting once we get started in the Hyades sector. Right, let's go and have a look at outfitting the Anaconda ready for a mining trip. Doing this at Jameson Memorial so that all the modules will be available to you. Once you've mined enough, you'll get elite at trade very quickly. Right, I've got beam lasers and multi cannons just in case there's some pirates or I get interdicted on the way back to sell. So, well worth doing. And don't forget your 2D mining lasers, two of them on the bottom there. And just in case, abrasion blaster and subsurface, just in case you come across any surface or subsurface deposits to blast off. Right, core internal. Oh, I've got 8A plow plant, 7A thrusters. Should have de-rated the frame sh um, the life support. But yeah, if you get all the good stuff for that. And here we go in the internals. Get cargo racks, plenty of them. Um, 5A collect limpet, get two of them. Plus a 3A. That will give you eight limpets in total for a quick collection. Don't forget a fuel scoop for God's sake and your refinery don't forget that one either you'll be gutted if you get there and you can't refine anything so there's that 3a limpet controller and the 3a limpet controller for the prospector gives you two active limpets at once you can prospect a couple of rocks at a time and don't forget your detailed surface scanner you need that to scan the ring no scanny ring no hotspots end of right now we're going to go and find the system. Heidi Sector DBX D1112. We, I will put a link in the description so you can copy and paste that one. So plot a route out there. Once you've been there once, you can go to the system map and literally just drop yourself straight onto it. Like that. Plot a course. Off we go. Right. It's that ring there around the second planet. Now we're going to launch. And get underway. Let's go. And try not to crash like I do on the way out of the slot. <laughs> right. Now we're going to go off and go mining. Here we are in the Heidi sector. Right, I'll speed this up a bit so we don't have to wait forever to get there. Um, once we arrive, we will need to go and use the detailed surface scanner to discover the ring. I've already done it so it will show up for me, but once you get there, you'll just have a plain ring without any hotspots in it. So once we get there, get that discovery scanner Make sure it's all set up and you've got your fire groups and your controls ready for it. Here we go, ready to drop in. And 
should be there any second now. Make sure you're in the right mode as well. That's what it looks like without, and that's what it looks like with the hotspots. Once you're close enough and you're not going too fast, I come to a full stop in Super Cruise and just shoot one into the ring. Shoot one probe into the ring and you're done. And that will show up then. That's all you need to do. And then once you're close enough, all the hotspots will show up in your contacts panel. Okay, here we go. Look in your hotspots on your contacts panel. I select the one closest to the planet. And then we'll go fly into them. If you can see that bright white ring just in front of the hotspot, I usually try and drop in about halfway into that white, bright white ring, right in between the two hotspots. I try not to come in too fast because if you come in too fast, you can drop some of your hull off due to the impact of the emergency stop. So just cruise on in there. Here it comes. Boom. It can be quite dark in these rings as well, so I stick my um, night vision on. Get your hard points out. You want to get your fire group set up so you've got your collectors and your lasers on primary and then perspective on secondary. Get yourself in there. I always keep that paint hotspot hotspot selected because if you keep flying towards it once you've prospected and mined rocks then you won't be mining the same rocks over and over. Nothing worse than finding the depleted rock. Don't forget to let the pirates scan you before you suck up any um, pay night. So they won't attack you if you fed a limpet. That one's rubbish, so we keep expecting. You'll quite easily find 40-50% rocks plus in this area. I don't really bother with anything under 20. This is the joy of having two prospective limpets. You can have one on the go while you send another one out. There you go. That one's got 24%. That'll do. And this next one is 37. So we'll start laser mining now. Also, don't forget to send pips to your weapons. <laughs> like what I just did. Or you will run out of lasers. See them little limpets go. Doing a good job. So if you haven't already found a rock like this one already from your two limpets, um, wait for your collectors to finish, then go on to the next one. If you haven't found one already, while your collectors are still going, send out a couple of prospectors see if you can find a nice rock to go to next. Don't forget to add things you don't want to your ignore list. 
I ignore everything apart from materials and painite and low temperature diamonds. Everything else gets binned off. You don't want to have to keep ejecting them and then sucking them back up again. Right. Chuck, this is why you always fill up with completely with limpets because you can always abandon them. That's what I do. Once you get full, chuck five out, carry on. There's nothing worse than having not enough limpets. And they're cheap enough, you don't have to worry about it. Right, let's zap another couple of rocks, see what they've got. 9%, not worth it, that one. So let's see what the other one comes out with. No valid collection targets, means you can move on. And while you're moving, that one will be prospecting. 45% medium, nice, that'll do. But don't forget these little round ones, sometimes they can be cracking 50-60% plus sometimes. Not always, but 50% of the time. I think that one wasn't, but this big one will do. Just so the video don't go on forever, I'm not going to chuck out any more limpets. I'm going to let the refinery fill up. I'll show you what that looks like. Get onto this next rock. It should be full then.
Right, nearly full. Have a look in your refinery and it should be full up. There we go, it's full up now. So, just make believe we've got a full cargo hold. Off we go. Bring your hard points in, close your cargo hatch, get out of mass lock. Right, let's go and have a look now and see where we can sell. I use Inara. I'll put a link in that in the description. You can link this to your commander as well so it'll automatically update all your information. So I don't even have to type in what system I'm in. So once you put your system name in, what commodity you're after, it'll give you your best sell price and where it is. Don't forget to have a look and see when it was updated, how much it's selling for, what the quantity available for selling is as well. Because you want demand, otherwise it won't be worth it. So yeah, that's the best sell system for me. Whack it in there. Make sure it's not 200,000 light years away. And plot a route and off you go. And you sell your painite or your low temperature diamonds or whatever. Or you can go to one of these sleep carriers. Plenty of them around. Right, thanks for watching. Hope it was some help. And maybe subscribe. And if you are interested, give me a shout and comment on the video. Well, thank you for stopping by and see you later.